Bom. Where'd it go? <laughs> What's up guys? My name is Mark, and in today's video I want to review a little piece of kit that I've grown extremely fond of. Now I've been using it in some capacity in every one of my videos since I got it. Now don't let the size fool you. It's small, but it knows Kung Fu. No, just kidding, it doesn't know Kung Fu. I mean, Kung Fu is probably the only thing it can't do. It does pack a punch. This is the Lytra Torch. A 1.5 by 1.5 inch aluminum cube light that can deliver up to 800 lumens of continuous high quality light. Powering this beast is a rechargeable lithium ion battery and get this, it's waterproof. Up to 10 meters. and drop proof, so you can take it pretty much anywhere and use it for pretty much anything. And I kind of do. Now it's like the lighting equivalent of a GoPro and it's equally useful with or without a camera in your hand. On the front of the Lytra torch are eight high-powered LEDs that can be operated in three different intensities plus an additional strobe mode. Level one at 100 lumens gives you four hours of endurance. Level two at 450 lumens gives you 70 minutes of endurance. And level three at 800 lumens gives you 35 minutes of endurance on a single charge. There's also a fourth strobe mode at 2200 lumens and can last for seven hours. Now on the opposite face of the light, there's a standard tripod mount thread and a micro USB port for charging. Now covering the micro USB port is a little rubber dust cover. Now this thing can get lost pretty easily, but the good news is if you do lose it, the micro USB port is waterproof, so you won't actually lose any functionality. The only reason why I'm saying this is because I've lost mine about eight times now, so I've always been lucky enough to find it, but it's good to know that if you do lose it, the functionality still remains. Now, one of my favorite things about this light is the back here is magnetized, which is nothing short of awesome. Now on the two opposite faces, you'll find a second tripod mount and a waterproof on off switch. Now pressing the power button a few times cycles through the light intensity modes. The operating switch also has an indicator light to give you an idea on the battery strength. A constant green indicates a power level between 100 and 20% and the light will turn red when the battery level dips below 20%. And when I plug this thing in to charge it, it will flash green to indicate charging. And it turns off when the LED is fully charged. Now there are loads of different accessories you can get with this light to improve functionality. I got the paparazzi pack which comes with a whole whack of useful accessories like these colored filter gels. A cold shoe mount. A diffuser. A GoPro mount. A belt clip. And a camera mount. Now the one thing I've noticed when using the filters with this camera light is if you use the filter on full power for a few minutes, the LEDs get pretty warm for the gel filters and will start to burn in. 
and they won't catch fire, but the color will get washed out at the spots of the eight LED lights. Now it's not a huge deal, but it's just something to be mindful of when using the gels at the highest lighting intensity. Now my absolute favorite thing about this light is its size and versatility. It's perfectly suited for everyday practical use as well as more creative uses for your photography or videography. Now, right now I'm using this light as my backlight and I also use it a lot for my macro photography because it's small size and easy to control light make it perfect for those detailed macro shots. Now I always keep this light fully charged because you never know when you're gonna need it. And I actually need it right now to grab some pickup shots for this video. There's actually a creek in this forest somewhere that I need to kind of illustrate the waterproof element of this light, so I'm kind of here to grab that shot. I'm actually using the lighter torch right now with a little diffuser on it to light this because it is pitch black here. I like the forest, but at night it's a little bit creepy. If you have any questions or comments regarding the Lytra torch, leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Time to get out of here.